To access the PC scanner, simply double click on PC scanner. Windows confirmation window will open, click OK. Then it will ask you the connection mode that we have selected, either wireless Bluetooth or serial cable. In this case, we're going to select the serial cable. Remember that we have to designate the COM port, which was designated by the computer. You will hear a vibrating sound from the scanner, confirming that the connection has been acknowledged by the PC. Click OK. Now you see on your PC screen the same information that is displayed on your scanner. Here you are looking at the main menu. We're going to click on Vehicle Diagnostics, uh, the different makes, either European, Asian, American. We're going to click on European. Item 2 on your menu is for the optional external modules. Item 3 is for the IMS2, then the OBD2, the J2534, the DOL, and setup. Remember you can use the arrow keys to navigate the screen. Going to click on the OBD2. We will now go through an example of how to connect with an OBD2 vehicle. Navigating the different menu options. Here we have all the different options for OBD2. We will now go into the data stream. Now we see the data stream for, for this vehicle. You can use the record option to save the different processes that you are going through on the screen. You can record and save the document according to your own specifications. The bottom left hand corner will indicate when this recording function is actually activated. This function records the whole process of our scan on screen as if it were a video. This is very useful in order to show our clients any particular problems that we may have encountered during the diagnostic process. We can also use the camera button in order to take a screenshot. This function will allow us to print any of the screenshots that we have selected you can select the screenshots that you want printed and then click the option print selected. The print window will open and you can select the target printer or if you have previously downloaded the application Bullzip, it will save your screenshot as a PDF for you to store and be able to print it at a later time. This is what the PDF of our screenshot looks like. This is very useful to present any kinds of reports to our customers. The information button can be used to input our business information so they can be used as a, an automatic header for any reports that are printed.
We can also stop and play back our recording using the buttons on the top menu. Playback by selecting an opening and click play. Now we're going to see how to make a Bluetooth connection. First we go to the Windows menu and for quick access or identification we can make a search type in Bluetooth select add a Bluetooth device our options will appear on the screen click on auto land Bluetooth device click on next click on the option for pair the device click on the option pair without using a code then our confirmation window appears this device has been successfully added to this computer click close Now we go to our PC scanner application, click on the Bluetooth option. We select the Bluetooth device, click OK. You will hear a little sound that confirms that the device has been recognized by your PC and the main menu will appear on screen which you can navigate using the arrow keys, the enter button, or the escape button.